Hundreds of demonstrators gathered on the campus of Brigham Young University today protesting what they call predatory and invasive enforcement of BYU's honor code. That pro uh, protest comes after hundreds sharing negative honor code office experiences on an Instagram account by a former student. It's called Honor Code Stories. ABC 4's Andrew Reeser was there and has more on what demonstrators are asking for. Grievances aired today at this demonstration at BYU include, but are not limited to, the way LGBTQ students are allegedly treated by the Honor Code office and alleged predatory practices. What started as an Instagram account by alumnus Sydney Drawn, and I honestly believe that this will create change, has now turned into a campus movement. The damage is real. The damage is real. A crowd of hundreds gathered in front of the Wilkinson Center, which houses the school's honor code office, to protest what some students and alumni call predatory and invasive practices when investigating infractions. The school's honor code, which draws heavily from standards of the Latter-day Saint faith, prohibits drug and alcohol use, premarital sex, and homosexual relationships. One student saying his sexual past was investigated by the office after being turned in for wearing his hair too long. I think it's absolutely violating trying to find some sexual um, rule that you've broken and whatnot. I think it's just, I think it's inappropriate. BYU largely has not addressed specific student complaints, but released a statement today saying, quote, We've seen the conversations about the Honor Code Office on social media and have engaged in discussions with our students. The director of our Honor Code Office has been meeting with students since last Thursday. These conversations have been very constructive as students have shared with us their concern for certain processes within the Honor Code Office. In some cases, these concerns do not reflect current practices. Even so, we recognize that it is our job to help students understand what processes are in place. But not all students agree with the protest. If you don't like the Honor Code, then go to a different school. Earlier this week, the Honor Code Office defended itself against many of the allegations made by students. It remains to be seen if any changes will be made. Reporting in Provo, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. Students have also signed petitions asking the Honor Code Office not to include bishops in any investigations and to get rid of rules requiring men to be clean shaven and what they call outdated dress and grooming standards. All BYU students are required to agree to this honor code before attending.